so dang cute. Yeah, I'm watching you. It's a hammer a tree. So cute. I love that kid so much. Y'all gonna have to excuse my crazy hair. I have so much new hair growing in from after having Daniel that I cannot control right now. I mean, I've tried everything. And my hair, I've been trying to let it grow out and it's grown out a ton. Look at this, I can see it in the, I can see it in my shadow. <laughs> it looks terrible. I mean, let's have a hat on. If I pull my hair back, it just sticks out. I tried braiding yesterday and had it all pretty braided. My daughter braids it for me. And it just sticks out crazy. So, y'all are just gonna have to mind the mess until it grows all the way out right. Look at that, I can see it in my shadow. Can y'all see it? Woo, crazy. <laughs> like a crazy mama over here. The wind don't help. Anyway. We are just hanging out today. The kids are down riding, enjoying this beautiful weather. Daniel is napping. Zach is tearing up a tree. And in a little bit, we're gonna go do something super fun. While it's still warm, we're gonna take advantage of the warm weather and go do something we've never done before. Yep, where are we going? Come here, I can't hear you. The splash pad? The splash pad? Yes. We're gonna go try out the splash pad. Yep. We have never been, so we're gonna do that. But in the meantime, we're gonna just gonna hang out outside, let Daniel take a nap. Rissa's down there riding Susie. I set the camera with her, so maybe we'll get some good footage from her. And we got oh, how sweet my boys are. Well, one of those is Lauren's boys. Blue says, I want to go in. Oh, here comes Brody. She's bringing Jesse in. Jesse is Lauren's horse. Sorry, everybody. Jesse is Lauren's horse. She worked her butt off to get him. That's a story in itself. Her journey of horses and then how she ended up with him and He's been a fun journey. Look at these two out here racing. All the babies are running with them. Oh, look how cute he is. Oh, gets them all going. Y'all start running and playing. See that the baby's doing to the big horses? I don't know if y'all can tell. Hold on, buddy. She's open. He's opening and closing his mouth. That's how babies let the big horses know that they're babies. It's kind of like their sign. How pretty she is. Everybody walking up. Look, Susie's herding her group up. She's pushing them along. This horse is scratching her booty. Lucy! <laughs> oh. Did you get it? Yeah, I guess so. It's our scratching post for the horses. We were gonna cut this limb down from the pecan tree when we moved here, but the horses have really enjoyed scratching their bodies on it, so we leave it for them. Okay. Okay, cool. Look at them! Yay, I'm so excited! Look at that! Oh my gosh, my baby! <laughs> Donkey, are you rolling?
She copies Susie. She's going to guy copy my mama. Good day, baby. A place to heal. Christ gave those gifts to prepare God's holy people for the work of serving, to make the body of Christ stronger. Ephesians 4:11 through 12. He grants gifts so we can prepare God's holy people. Paul reached into a medical di dictionary for his term. Doctors used it to describe the setting of a broken bone. Broken people come to churches, not with broken bones, with broken hearts, homes, dreams, and lives. They limp in on fractured faith, and if the church operates as a church, they find healing. Pastor teachers touch and reach. Gospel bears share good news. Prophets speak words of truth. Visionaries dream the greater impact. Some administrator. Some pray, some lead, some follow, but all help to heal brokenness, to make the body of Christ stronger. Don't miss it. No one is strong all the time. Don't miss a place to find to find your place and heal your hurts. So what does that mean? What I got from it is meaning like people who have no faith and who are like don't live their life through him are like basically broken. And they, if you live your life through him, I mean it's just it, you're you're stronger physically mm -hmm. and mentally, and it's just it's a it's overall better to to be involved with him and to a lot of people come to churches broken and the preachers and the administrators and everybody they heal them and well they don't heal them well yeah you know what they help influence minister very good i think it's good that it's ephesians yeah we like ephesians we're studying ephesians right now it's ephesians it's a book in the Bible. Ephesians 4, chapter 4. We haven't read that one yet. Yeah, we haven't got chapter 4 yet. Yeah, we're doing a Joyce Meyer's study Bible Bible study along with her, and we're doing the book of Ephesians. So Let's go. <laughs> it's going to be cold. <laughs> Mom is like, ready? Woo! Are you getting wet? Huh? You getting wet? It wasn't. <laughs> he likes it. up a water slide, okay? Okay. Because it's slippery, right? Yeah. Are you okay? Okay. Well, I need you to like stop crying. Okay. I need you to stop crying. Breathe through your mouth. Yeah. Let's take a break for a minute, then you can go back and play, okay? Listen, you take a little break. Listen to me. If you keep crying, I can't let you go back and play. Sorry. Listen to me. Let's take a little break and calm down and we go back and play, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go sit in the sun. And 
I did a backflip off of the four wheeler, busted my head on the back of the the um four no the you know the bars the bar. that are on the back, busted my face on it, landed on the ground on my face, and then she ran over my foot. And I had blood coming out of my nose. Yeah, I remember that. I remember I cried for Taylor, and then he came over and he he got at me, and then we went back, and I remember pulling up. Yeah, um, yeah, I had blood. Every, I scratched up the side of me. Oh, yeah. terrible. Busting your nose is no fun. No. So Lainey's busted her nose. He busted, busted your it. nose. Mama busted her nose. And I busted my nose. And if Uncle Adam is watching, he should remember that story. Mama, my Somebody busted my nose. Yeah, Lauren busted Somebody her nose. I was younger than Zachary. Busted yeah. your nose at soccer. Yeah, I got. And I busted my that nose. That goalie twice. had a leg. I'm telling you. <laughs> I felt it. Mama, you were I little. I was. You could only start to kick the ball right back at me. Yep. Smack me around the face. That's why I got. I think I kind of like broke it or cracked it because I got kind of a funky shape. Nose. Yep. So do I. Up here. Like yeah. one side's one shape and the other side's totally different. Yep. That's mine. I busted mine in a creek on a rock. So I just got out of the creek. Adam should know that story. I just got out of it. Tommy should know that story. Tommy should know her Uncle story. Uncle Tommy should know that story. Ansley. Yeah. Was, I was in kindergarten when I did that. Yeah. It was on the full wheel. Alright. Yeah, and Uncle Adam made me ride in the back of his truck so I didn't get blood in his car, in his truck. Yeah, and we weren't supposed to be at the creek when I busted my nose. So he quickly got me in the truck, ran me home going, stop bleeding! Stop! I'm like, oh no, get help me, my nose! And he knew he was gonna get in trouble with my mom because he was supposed to be babysitting. See, we weren't supposed to be going that fast in the woods either. We were playing yeah. hide and go seek. And Nansley hit that hole too fast, and I did a backflip, hit my nose on the bar, mom. face planted, and she ran over my foot. You feel okay? Yeah. All right, let's go try it again. No more running up the slide, okay? Can I do a slide down? You can slide down, but once you can, but then you can't go back up. Suckered me in for a Happy Meal since he busted his face. And we got one too, but mine ain't Happy Meal. What you got there? You got chicken nuggets? I'm such a sucker for these kids when they get hurt or sick. It's like this. Yum. <laughs> Mom, you can like, have it. Mom. No, it's yours. I got some. No, I think. Okay, thank you. It's like her, it's so like after, sweet. It's like after <laughs> every um, orthodontist appointment, she'd go get me a Frosty from Wendy's. All right, everybody. Thank y'all for watching. Sorry for the blood. Hope it weren't, you know. <laughs> didn't make y'all sick. Give us a thumb. I got a chicken nugget in my hand. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel if you're Give not. Give us a chicken nugget. <laughs> Put your thumb inside the chicken nugget. No. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Thank you, Kate.